let's look at the form that we have on screen so let's read it it's go it's read as um what is the angle at point d what is an angle at point d in the triangle o d b in the triangle o d from d b uh, and from b to connect it back so this is the triangle they're referring to remember this thing is a cube so if this thing is a cube this is like a crown and this is a wall up so whenever there is a crown and a wall up that make an angle of 90 that's how walls that we see every day are ah, they're just perpendicular to the ground so here we have 90 that's d so now we give it d angle d is equal to 90 perpendicular so now let's look at the we have solved this part of the question let's look at the next part of the question it's read as the next next calculate the angles inside triangle back b a c so it's b a c so just try to draw a triangle highlighting let's go here to here and from here to there to the triangle and from here to here and again this thing it's like a cube right so this walls always make perpendicular to each other because yes yeah this one is perpendicular so this is a right angle to triangle because it slides on this wall and lies on that one making these walls are perpendicular to each other yeah and then that make it this one to be perpendicular again so we are given sides uh, 4 4 and um, 9 and 8 so then what uh, the angles inside they want angles inside here of which now we do have one angle B is equals to 90 again so we're looking for now a angle a is unknown angle c is unknown okay, we could just get one and use our uh, angles in a triangle yeah and we will be fine so let's try to work it out mm, we can use pythagoras to get this side um yeah let's try to work it that way so we could just going to take into account try angle b b c d so there what is happening we could use pythagoras which we could say hypotenuse b c squared is equal to i and the other side b d squared plus the other side d c squared looking at triangle b c uh, b c d this triangle that we, we're looking at just walls of the cube so b d is given to be 9 uh, d c is given to be 4 and you square both of those with you have to have h1 here plus 16 right then from this stage we could just square both sides we'll have um, b c this is bc right yeah it is bc put it because it's squared put the root to eliminate square and this side we have this and this giving us 97 all under a root then bc is going to equal to 97 under a root so now we do have b bc we know this side this is our BC, right? So we now know the side to be root 97. Now, after calculating, we've noticed that we have now two sides of the triangle. 
of this side that we know, which is 8, and we have this one that we just calculated, of which is root 97. Root 97. So if we have two sides, we can get this angle using tan. We'll just say tan of angle C. Uh, if this one is angle C is equal to opposite, opposite is AB. A, B, O over I, J, C, and of which is B, C. And then if you work for all, your A, B is given to be 8. Your B, C is what we just calculated. Root 9, 7. And then turn uh, angle C. Then you can get your angle C. Do your computation. And then I'll just get the answer of 39. Point zero nine degrees as the angle C. Now I know angle C. To get the third angle, you could just use sum of angles in the triangle. You could use also your your chicks again. Okay, uh, I can use tan of this one. Tan A is going to be opposite and that one. Okay, so tan angle A is going to the opposite of it is going to be b c all over the i g center of it is going to be a b of which is also what uh, our our b c just goes the other way around it's going to be mm, with nine seven all over eight and if you say your shift sum using a calculator, it's going to get your A angle to be equal to um, 50 degrees, uh, 50.991, 50.91 degrees. This is going to be your answer for angle A. If you do your, you could also do your, your basic, uh, sum of angles in a triangle remember you already have 39 minus 90 you get this or the other way around so yeah we do now have all the angles that was required we we got b from the first place we got b we got this was always 90 and we got c c is here we got it and we got a a here we got it so the trick here is just only understanding that this angle is 90 because it is within the cube and also understanding this is 90 because it's up, right? All in all, the question is just simple.